Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Henry and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I am gonna just do a little thrift haul with you. I had no intention of going to the thrift store but guys, I am so like worn out from all this Christmas stuff of making and I was just ready to do some shopping. This is the week of Christmas and I am ready for some cozy and quite honestly, I'm ready to clean some of the stuff up. Is, is that weird? Like it has Christmas hasn't even happened yet and I'm kind of already ready to move on to organization and clutter removal. However, when I went to the thrift store, all the Christmas stuff was 50% off. So, you know, I'm just thinking for the future of my channel and for next year and to have some stuff ready to go to do thrift flips for next year. I'm not going to do them before Christmas, but I wanted to show you what I found. So, um, let's get started. First things first is I found this Kirkland's Angel that originally was from Kirkland's for $13. It was labeled as $4, but I got her for $2. But what I really liked about her is she seemed similar in color to my Nativity set. So for $2 and she has some of the sugaring on it, she really is sweet. This gold might be a little much um, to go with the Nativity set, but I could always do like a white wax over it to kind of dull it down are we surprised but i thought for two dollars that she is a beautiful angel and worth it so she's going up this year i also got this topiary this was two dollars and it's very wintry right just winter stuff with a little bit of the gold balls I would probably change this out, take this off or change it out. And I could always do something down here, but like it already looks good. There's, there's like real looking twigs in here, which I always like to make it look a little bit more authentic. Also, I got this for, it's labeled as $2. So I got it for a dollar. My plan is to just kind of bust. Yeah. I'll have to do that next year with some heat because it's glued on, but just with some heat and um, a scraper, kind of get those off and have another sled for a dollar. Also, I got the set of four ornaments. I mean, I think it's originally from Walmart. It was a total of 50 cents. But these guys, they look good with the rest of my tree and they look really good on the tree. So for 50 cents for four, I went for that. I guess I am using some of it for this year. Just nothing that I had to do anything to. Um, I got this basket for $3 that I thought was really cute to hang on a hook and fill with stuff. This could look cute in a bathroom with hand towels just kind of rolled up right here. I kind of like the color that it is, but it could always be changed. So I thought $3, it was um, a good deal and uh, might be going in one of my kids' bathrooms. I got this like super, this is a nice bulb for 25 cents. It's not my color, but next year when I have a booth, I could totally sell this for way more than 50 cents. Same thing with this. I think it kind of was around 50 cents or 25 cents. These are not my colors, but these are just like the good kind of bulbs for my booth next year. Then this guy was only 50 cents. Um, it has a little burlap on the inside. I just thought that'd be cute for like a little Christmas tree next year. Also, I have been looking at my tree in my create room because that's where I hang out and contemplate all the time. And it's looking a little 
sparse on the inside. So I got these for a dollar and I got these for a dollar and I was just for two dollars to get this volume of the right color. I was just going to push it back into the back of the tree to kind of fill it out some more. is something that I have not opened up yet and I'm gonna do that with you because I'm really excited about what's gonna be inside um, I'll do this so that I get this is a bowl it was two dollars but it was 50% off for orange so it was only a dollar the the finish is a little bit off but I thought that if this was painted white and then some of this was rubbed back with the metal coming through. It would be so pretty. So I got that for a dollar. And then this bag is a bag of Christmas ornaments. It was labeled $3, so I got it for $1.50. But guys, some of the stuff in here looks so cute. So I'm really excited to open it up. It seems like it's very kitchen, very kitchen um, themed. Okay, so here's a little christmas ornament oh this is so cute like i guess one of those little bait things i forget what they're called that is super cute what else do we have in here i don't know about this again the whole thing was a dollar fifty so i'll take what i can this is like a pie so it's very food themed I don't like pies. I, I don't, <laughs> my mother-in-law does not understand me, but I do not like anything that's a cooked fruit. So these are not my favorite, but that's okay. These are so cute. These are so cute. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. Again, all of these were $1.50, y'all. Look at this. <gasps> what a cute little ornament. I love it. And then it's little friend. <laughs> These are so cute. Hmm. I think next year I have a little mini tree that I could do like a little theme to. Let's go fishing. So cute. But wait, there's more. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. I'm going to do a... a a kitchen tree next year okay so there's like a, a little whisk ornament and then you know what these are actually magnets but you just put a little thing on them and they can turn into little ornaments Look at those. Ornaments for a little kitchen tree. And then there's also this cute little scoop. Cute. Keep going. All of these were $1.50. Not my style, no big deal. Little rooster. Well, that might get painted for next Christmas. That could be my style if it was like <laughs> painted white. Anyone surprised? Anyone surprised? All right. Here's a random, very random. <laughs> Here's a little guy that could be like the tree topper for this Christmassy thing. And then this is really what caught my eye through the sign. <laughs> Listen, this is a really cheap look. Like it's really plasticky, but I'm wondering if I could like make it look rusted or something. It'd be cool, but look. Ooh. 
look at these. Oh my gosh, what is this? These are so cute. Do I have a little tree that I could put this on right now? I. This is a little confusing. Y'all. I feel like I got a really good deal for $1.50 on these. These used to be magnets and they turned them into ornaments. <clears throat> oh, copper pot. Oh, gold pot. What are you? I'll do a pan of this whole grouping because this is a lot for $1.50. And I will take it. Another gold pot. Oh, maybe these are the lids for these pots? I don't know. Weird. We don't have to like all of it, right? It's a lid for something. Oh, for the frying pan. And then to end it, a cute little bell. That's kind of fun. All right. Um, that is the end of that little grab bag of fun for $1.50. And then I got this for 25 cents. Figured it would look good with white wax on it, like I've done in a couple videos, and some kind of transfer on it. It would be a cute little pot. I got this for 50 cents. I believe I have another one of these in my stash. And my idea was to use them for the kids' bathrooms when I get to them. I guess I need to show you a little closer. And then this is this a little closer. And then also for a bathroom, this was 50 cents. It's a very, very thick glass. This should be for my youngest bathroom since she's the one that breaks things. And then this was actually my favorite find. This is hand painted in Italy or made and painted in Italy. And it's got really cool patina on it, a little bit of age where the glaze has come off. It was only $5. And I was like, this would be a really cool fruit bowl. I know I've got a wooden one right now, but it just needed to come home with me. One more thing. I found this bell. It was 50 cents. Easy to replace the ribbon and to paint it. Why not? Anyway, that is the end of my thrift haul. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite find? Let me tell you, like, I love my Italian fruit bowl, but all these little things for $1.50, like, they're so cute. Um, let me know what your favorite find of mine is. And I would love for you guys to like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with your people, subscribe if you haven't already, Next week, my plan is to get a bit, a little bit reflective over this last year. I started my channel January 30th, and I am coming around the corner to the new year and about to hit 12 months of Create Your Own Cozy, and I am so excited. But I wanted to reflect a little bit about the things that worked well and maybe decide moving forward um, what I would like it to look like moving forward. So if you guys have any feedback on what works well what what you guys do like or and i want to see what you like and what are some things that you would like to see um as i move into the new year on my channel i would really appreciate it 
for this core group, I would like to say thank you so much for your support. And I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.